Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Theodore Roosevelt, the supercarrier released in the latest open beta for DCS World. My name's Tricker, and we're going to go through a supercarrier quick guide to get you all started on this new module inside of DCS. First things first, you need to make sure you go over to the website and make sure you order the supercarrier, and then go into your module manager and download that sucker and install it, and then you're all set to go with the supercarrier for DCS. As you can see, it's very busy on the flight deck, just like in real life. So let's go ahead and stop talking, and let's get into what we can do with the supercarrier with the early release in mid-May. So from the main menu, you can go directly to missions and click on F-18. And we have a variety of missions here. Mission qualification supercarrier, case one through three recoveries, as well as cold and dark start on the Persian Gulf. And if you scroll down a little bit further, we do have the mission qualification for the supercarrier on Caucus as well. Now, just going over the flight deck on the Nimitz class carrier, we do have catapults one, two, three, and four with their JBDs respectfully with elevator one, two, three, and four, as well as the arresting gear in the back with wires one through four. Now here I selected one of the My Missions F-18 supercarrier launch on the Persian Gulf. The catapult officer or shooter is giving me the run-up signal, so I'm running up the engines. And we can either use a keybind in the F-14 or F-18 to salute, or right here, I do the communications menu and I hit salute, and they both do the same exact function. So let's talk about views. F9 is the default key to get the standard ship view. You need to be in this view first in order to get the next key commands to work. If you hit right control F9, it cycles between all of the catapults and you can use zoom. You can move your mouse around to get some outstanding shots. And in this example right here, the director just gave the catapult officer control. And the catapult officer is telling him to run up the engines. This F-14 Tomcat is just about to launch. The shooter is now doing his safety checks. He touches the deck, gives the shoot command, and off the Tomcat goes. And how cool is this to watch? So now the F-14's out of the way. We have an F-18 inbound. The taxi director right here is spreading his arms, telling us to spread our wings. He's now telling us to come left. And now he's giving us the motion to come forward. So these are some of the commands that you will see when you try to line up with the cat shot. And right here with the fists, he is telling us to stop. So these are just some of the commands that you will see when you start taxiing to line up with the cat shot. And now with this signal right here, he is telling us to extend our launch bar. And you can see right here, the F-18 is extending the launch bar. So now the taxi director is gonna run out of the way and he's going to tell you to taxi forward slowly to position the launch bar over the shuttle. Sometimes significant power is required for this, as much as 80 to 85% RPM. So don't be shocked when you need to add a little bit of power to actually connect to the shuttle. So when the launch bar drops over the shuttle, the aircraft will be stopped as the holdback engages the catapult buffer. And now the taxi director is going to tell you to raise the launch bar to seat it into the catapult shuttle. The director is now going to hand off the control to the shooter. And the shooter is now telling us to run up the engines, which this F-18 is doing. The crews are doing their safety checks, giving the thumbs up. The shooter is now making sure everybody is good to go. Gives the launch command. And there goes the F-18 to deliver some freedom. So there's no coffee breaks for these guys. They run back into action, ready to launch another aircraft. So let's go over the personnel real quick. These are the white shirts on the flight deck. They are the final checkers and give your aircraft a last minute look for problems. Other people that wear the white shirts are also the LSOs. One of the green shirts, you'll encounter these personnel during launch as a catapult and arresting gear crews position the holdback bar and ensure proper attachment to the catapult shuttle. Maintenance personnel of various specialties may also be on hand to troubleshoot last minute problems with the aircraft. Next we have the yellow shirts, which are the plane directors Flight deck officers, arresting gear officers, catapult officers, catapult spotters, and aircraft handling officers. 
There's also brown shirts, blue shirts, purple shirts, and red shirts on the flight deck as well. They are modeled and you can place them on the flight deck, but currently they do not do anything except stand there and look pretty. Now one cool thing you can do is if you hit right control F9 to select a catapult, and then you hit right alt F9, you can cycle between all the flight deck personnel associated with that catapult. Now if you press left alt F9, you get to the LSO position, which has the LSO flat cam here as well as the LSO platform and Mr. Bald Headed LSO Man right here, which you can add those LSO guys in the mission editor if you want. But when the F-14 landed here, you can actually see the score on the top right, and you can actually see it's a foul deck right now. We have another F-14 entering the groove right now. Now the deck is clear. This F-14 can land. And just remember, the scores are on the top right when you land, and you can look up in the manual the codes which the LSO gave you for your grade. And just a few more things for you here. The flaws overlay is actually movable, and you can click and drag it to wherever your heart desires. I prefer it over here on the left, as the meatball is actually on the left-hand side, so I'll be looking over to the left naturally. It becomes active when you're on final approach and configured for landing, so while you're in the groove. The last thing we want to talk about is the ball call. You can either do it through the comms menu, or for the F-14 and F-18, there is a bindable key to call the ball for you. Wasn't the prettiest, but hey, we're back on the deck. So as we're coming over here, it looks like everybody's having a coffee break, but what we need to do is go to the comms menu, ground crew, and hit request launch. And as we hit request launch, everybody goes back to the launch operations, and they want to start taxiing in for another launch. Now, I know we didn't cover case one, case two, and case three recoveries, but there's plenty of videos out there. There's also other videos out there on the supercarrier that uh, I'm sure you've already watched. This is just a quick supercarrier guide to get you guys started and to figure out some of the key commands that you maybe had questions on. Make sure you check out the manual for the supercarrier. There's plenty of information on there to help you out as well. Again, I thank you all for watching this. And again, I appreciate all the support. Please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe out there. And again, fly safe and enjoy the supercarrier.